all right welcome back to this section where we are going to integrate AdMob into our application very important section pay close attention so i'll go back to my app toolkit and i'll click on step nine which is the AdMob section and the first thing here is that you actually need to have an AdMob account so if you don't have an AdMob account what i'm going to do is i'll right click and open in an incognito window so that it's you know opens AdMob fresh if you don't have an AdMob, AdMob account click on that link and then sign up for an AdMob account now the thing is I already have an AdMob account so I don't need to sign up for um, this okay but go ahead and sign up for an AdMob account okay what I'll do next is I'll log into my AdMob account so that I can show you how the process works okay so I'll close this up and I'll do add mob oh sorry not add add mob so this is one of the um, this is just a demo account I'm going to use to explain um, stuff to you okay oh I have add blocker let me just turn off add blocker so that this can um, work so I've turned off add blocker and I'm going to reload this page so we can see the demo All right, so this is like a demo AdMob account that I'm going to use to show you how the process works. Um, basically, what you need to do is you need to create an app, okay? So you are only supposed to like go through this process when you are ready to create an application, okay? Now, um, what you need to do is you need to come here on this option here, this apps option, and we need to create an app. So I'm going to do like this, and I'll say add app okay are you with me now you, you you're going to have to select a platform for like the app so in this case it's Android okay so in this case it's Android so I'm just going to select Android and it says it says here is the app listed on a supported app store so because I have not actually listed the app on any store yet I'm just going to say no okay and I will just click on continue okay so next you need to give the app a name so I'm just going to give this app healthy woman now remember I'm not actually going to publish this app this is just to explain to you how the process works okay now when you've given the app a name of course leave this checked user metrics and stuff it helps you it gives you data about your you know app and then click on add app okay all right now when you've created that app the next thing you need to do is you need to create an add unit for the app so there are two kinds of add unit um add well there are more than two actually but there are two kinds we're interested in there is the banner ads the interstitial ads okay those are the two we are interested in so go ahead and click on create add units okay and then select banner ad so what i'm going to do is i'll just select banner ads and I'm, I'm going to give it a name so I'll just say banner and I'll click on create add units so it's possible that when you are watching this video I would have maybe covered uh, my ad um, sorry the ID for this banner ad I would have covered it so that you know someone does not use it and implicates me okay so I'll just click on create add units and so it has created this ad unit for a banner ad so um, I'm going to click on create another ad unit and I'll create for interstitial ads so I'll do that here and I'll select interstitial ad and I'll just call this the name I'll say interstitial and I'll click on create ad units so basically I've created a banner ad and an interstitial ad okay for the project so what I'll do is I'll just click on done okay so right here now we see that I have two ad units for this project okay the banner ad and the interstitial ad okay now um, let's go ahead and begin the process of installing AdMob on our project okay 
so um, i'm going to minimize this and sorry i don't need to minimize that i'm going to go back to my app toolkit so that we can see so you see here that we've created with an ad mob account we've created an app we've created a banner and an institutional ad unit okay now what we need to do is we need to you know run this command okay so let me copy this command and bring up my code editor and paste it in so that i can explain it so um i don't have my path here because of the recent command i ran so i will just create another terminal so that i will be able to see a path all right so you see here we have the ionic forward slash healthy woman that's the path so i've added this command here now let's take a moment to analyze this command so i'll make this bigger here you see that we are installing a plugin called admob free and we are required to add our admob app id the app id itself not the banner or interstitial ad id the app id itself so let me show you how you get the app id so you are supposed to replace this ca hyphen app hyphen pub and all of this number you are supposed to replace it with your own app id so let me go back to admob and so i think you just click on app overview so when you are inside the specific app click on app overview uh maybe not app overview because i can't see the app id here let's see um let me just see this okay so i'm going to go to add units back to add units and see where i can locate my app id uh this is for the banner the interstitial app settings okay so app settings is where you have the app id okay and by the way i'm going to have my app id covered by the time you're watching the this video okay so i don't want anyone to use it and you know give me issues with google because there are some things you're not supposed to do with your ads like you're not supposed to for example click your ads by yourself so if someone messes around with all of this data um i can get issues with google so i'll cover them so but i'm going to copy my app id which is what i have here by clicking on app settings so i'll copy my app id or you are supposed to copy your app id so just click on this button here and it will copy the app id and you're supposed to come to your code editor and replace the app id so i can just call um, delete all of this and control v to place your app id inside okay but i'm not going to use my actual app id so i'm, I'm going to stick with what i have here okay so let me i don't even know where i'm going to stop with this control z i'm doing okay maybe i'll just copy the command one more time from this place here okay so i'll copy this command and i'll just get rid of all of this and paste in the command again oh i need to do it one after the order So I'll just right click to paste in all of that and I'll hit enter. So it's going to install, um, it's going to begin to install the AdMob plugin for Ionic. Okay. So I'm just going to give it a moment to complete and then we'll continue. So, but remember, you're supposed to replace your app ID. The app ID here, you're supposed to put your own app ID. If not, it's not going to work. Okay. All right, so let's give it some time to um, load and then we'll, we'll continue. All right, so the first process is complete. Now I'll go back to my toolkit and let's go to the second command. So for the second command, we're just going to copy it here. And we're going to go to our code editor. That's our code editor here. And we're going to paste it in and hit enter. So let me pause the video just to, you know, because of the time it takes for these things to install. So you see it's installing already. So I'm just going to, you know, pause the video and wait for it. All right, this process is complete here. And I'm getting these issues with found for vulnerabilities, three low, one high. I'm going to ignore it. It doesn't really affect the functionality of my application. So let's go back to our toolkit and see what we have next. Okay. 
So you see everything is step by step. So here we are supposed to create a service to handle ad mob. Okay, to handle the display of our ads. So and to create a service, we need to use this command. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, click to copy, and then I'm going to bring up my terminal and I'll just right click and paste that in and then I'll hit enter. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to pause the application and wait for the process to be complete. All right, so the process is complete and we've generated a service. Now, for us to see what we've actually done, let me just reduce this just a little bit. Let's come to our file explorer and let's check for, so I'll minimize this. And if we come here, we'll see, um, just a minute, where am I? Resources closed. All right, so you see services here. That's because we've created a services for AdMob okay so you see the admob free services and admob services.ts okay all right so let's go back to our toolkit and let's see the next step so we've successfully generated a service to handle admob okay now let's see step six step six is that we're going to import everything here inside admob free.service.ts so i'm going to copy this and let's bring up our code editor and then let's open so you see here we have services and we have admob free dot services dot ts so i'll just click on this and the import section is always at the top so i'm going to click here come down to the next line and paste in what i copied from the toolkit okay all right so that's the first step okay so let's come back here and let's see what we need to do next all right so next we need to add services to the constructor okay so it's in this um step six here import add mob and these platforms here to services.ts file and add to the constructor so this is what we are adding to the constructor so i'm going to copy this and i'll bring up my code editor and this is our constructor so inside of these brackets here just put your mouse there press enter and paste in what you copied from the toolkit okay i'll just do tab here to move it okay oh that's too much okay and then i can go ahead and save okay so let's come back to our toolkit and where are we we are in step seven okay now for step seven we are supposed to add and this interstitial add configuration below this place here they call export class blah 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 don't worry i'm going to show you exactly where that is so this is export export class add mob free service okay so first of just copy this guy here okay and let's go back to our editor and if you look here we see export class add mob free service okay so we're just going to come below it and paste in what we copied I wonder why I'm getting some delay when I, you know, do this. All right, so let me explain what we have here. So this is a configuration for your interstitial ads. Interstitial ads are those ads that pop up and cover all of the screen when a user maybe clicks on a button or stuff like that. And here we set is testing to true because I'm actually just I just want to test this um, what's it called process and the auto show I set it to false so i don't want it to show by itself i want it to only show up when the user clicks on a button and then the id for the interstitial ad now this is the point where you need to now replace this id with your own interstitial ad id so let me go to google ad mob and let me go to ad units so you see here we have banner ads and interstitial ads copy this interstitial ads id okay and replace this guy with your own okay so that's how you claim the ad so there are two things your app id you use in the beginning your interstitial ads id you use here so but this one is just a test id for google okay google gives us a test id for us to just test 
when we are creating an, our apps okay and it's important for you to actually use this when you are testing so that you don't mistakenly click on your own id because that that will get you into trouble all right so let me go back to how long is this video wow it's already 15 minutes wow i'm gonna have to stop here but let me just find a suitable place to stop okay so let's come down and so the next step which is step eight is that we are supposed to add this piece of code right to the constructor okay so um what are we going to do i'm going to copy it i'll click to copy okay and i'll go back to my and let me show you something here so you see we're adding it to the constructor and then i added the curly braces okay that means that we're adding it inside the curly braces so i'll come back here i'll put my mouse so this is the constructor i'll put my mouse inside the curly braces and i'll hit enter and then i'll paste in this code i copied okay let's go back and what's the next step okay so the next step is that we need to call the banner and the interstitial ads just immediately after the closing curly brace of the constructor so i'll go ahead and copy this okay and let me just be sure that everything is so oh, everything is going well i'll copy this and i'll bring up my code editor so just follow me you know step by step and this is where the um constructor ends this curly braces here i'll just come down and i'll paste in that code i copied okay so this is the code i copied this first one is calling the banner ads and this second one is calling the interstitial ads now for the banner ads all you need to do here is you need to come here and set this to like when you want to deploy your app you need to change this id to your banner ad id okay so let me go to google ad mob you need to copy this your banner ad id and replace this one here so this is a test id okay for testing purpose now one very important thing i must say is that when you want to deploy your app to the place um to the app store um, play store google play store is testing you need to set it to false okay so i said remove in production actually you should set it to false okay so let me say false in production and i'll come here here also for our interstitial configuration you see it's testing is set to true when you want to deploy to the app to the google play store you need to set it to false okay those are the two important things i needed to see now let's come and see where we are so we're in step we've done step nine so let's come down and see if there are any more steps okay so for the next one we are going to need to go to another file so this is where i'll take a break and i'll continue the process in the next um, video Thank you so much and see you in the next one.